Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to eat a pomegranate and do a taste test. I love pomegranates. I've eaten many over the years and uh, they're a highly nutritious fruit and I'll get into some of the nu nutritional benefits a little bit later. Pomegranates originated in parts of Iran through Northern India, but have long since been cultivated around the world. Um, here in Arizona, parts of Arizona, they cultivate pomegranates in California as well, and then uh, a variety of countries. And it's such a delicious fruit. They're kind of a bit tricky to get into. You can't just bite into it like you can an apple. So that can be off-putting for people. And the seeds, while delicious, they can be a little messy and they can stain your clothes. So that's something that you have to watch out for as well. But the juice is highly desirable. It's sold throughout supermarkets all over the world. And uh, the seeds, people like to have them in the salads or just eat them as they are and other like baking and things like that. But uh, they're so good. I love pomegranates. Let me bring the camera in for a closer look and we'll get into some more details. All right, here is a closer look at the pomegranate. It's about the size of a large apple. Let me run through these health benefits. They are high in fiber and protein, vitamin C and vitamin K and some other essential vitamins and nutrients, full of antioxidants, anti-inflammatory effects. Studies have shown that they may lower blood pressure, fight arthritis, may lower heart disease, can help bacterial and fungal infections, may improve memory, may improve exercise performance, Bottom line, pomegranates are one of the most nutritious and healthy fruits available out there. All right, so here's some things to look at. When you look at this, you'll see these ridges. It's not a complete round or spherical shape, these ridges. And once we cut off the top here, you'll be able to see them more. Ideally, that's where we're gonna be wind up cutting to make it easier to get to the fruit. And so what we wanna do to get into this is we'll take a, a knife and we want to cut around it. So we want to score the top, okay? You don't want to cut in, you don't need to cut in super deep, but just cut through the top around it. Like that. See that? And then we can just take this top right off. Yeah, look at that, yummy! I'm gonna grab one real quick. Mmm, yummy, so good. Okay, and you'll see, if you can see in there, sometimes it's hard to see, but there'll be these little lines inside the pomegranate, and those lead to the ridges. And that's where you cut. So it looks like this one has one, two, three, four, five. Five of the ridges. And so what you'll do is you'll come over here and you'll just score it on that ridge. And you don't have to be super exact with this either. You can be a little off and be fine. All right, and then what you do is you just come in here and you just kind of pull it apart. And you can pull this out if you want. Pretty awesome. Hmm. And then take a bowl of water and you want to you take these apart and just let the seeds fall into the water. There's another method where you hold it. Instead of taking them apart, you hold it like this and then you tap it like this on the back and let the seeds fall out. That's a cool little method. Or you can just come in here with your fingers 
and just, you know, pull out the seeds and let it fall into the water. Make sure your hands are clean, of course. Of course, make sure your hands are clean. Because you don't want to eat this stuff right here. And don't worry about the white stuff because that's just going to float to the top. This is why some people are get turned off by pomegranates is because it takes a little bit of time to pre prepare them. And there are a variety of methods out there on how to cut up and prepare your pomegranate. This is just the one that I do. This is a pretty common one. All right, and then once you have all the seeds in there, you can just come over here and just skim out this white stuff. And if you accidentally eat some of this white stuff, don't worry about it. It's not gonna hurt you. It's just not very appetizing. And then I will just take my slotted spoon and go right into a little bowl. And there we go, they are ready to be eaten. All right, I have everything cleaned up. Now I wanna do a taste test, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So, so yummy, I love pomegranates. The, you hear the crunch of the seeds? The, the seeds are not hard to eat. You can just eat right through them. Very sweet and a bit of sour to it as well. A sweet sourness. And uh, it's just so tasty. It's hard to describe exactly what it tastes like. Um, kind of close to a, a, a more of a tart grape juice almost. Not really, but just really, really delicious. It has its own distinct taste. And uh, I just, I love pomegranates. Really, really good, really nutritious. And uh, if you don't want to eat seeds, if you prefer to juice, just dump all those seeds in your juicer and you can get your pomegranate juice that way. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you like pomegranates, if you've ever had them before, how much they cost uh, where you live. At my supermarket right now, each one of these costs about a dollar, which is not too bad. Um, I've seen them a little bit cheaper, but uh, there we go. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into more of this. Oh yeah, let me pomegranate. Mm. Mm. So juicy and yummy. Mm.